What is up everyone, it's your good old pal Munching Orange here and welcome to Pal World. You may have heard of this game before as essentially Pokemon with guns. In fact, I even reacted to the very first trailer for this game on my channel, pretty much making fun of how blatant of a Pokemon ripoff it was. My neighbor Totoro used with Pikachu and he's stand behind bro, but also praising it for how different of a spin this would be on the genre, despite having some things I wasn't exactly too comfortable with. Okay, the slave labor was a bit much. Nearly three years later, we have the official release of Pal World, and it has been absolutely taking the internet by storm, with over 1 million copies sold already within like the first 24 hours, and pretty much everyone on Twitter talking about the fact that they are pretty much ripping off Pokemon. But you guys might know I'm no stranger to covering Pokemon-like games and seeing what they do differently from the formula, like this game, of course, taking the first-person shooter aspect as well as a bunch of stuff from survival games like Minecraft and Ark Survival Evolved. In fact, I've seen most people that have already played the Early Access describe this game as Ark meets Pokemon. I am really excited to check it out, so don't forget to hit that like button if you are too, and without further ado, let's jump in. And before we get into it, we got the character creator. I think I'm gonna name myself Orenji, and the default character it's looking pretty good. She kind of reminds me of Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn, except with a freaking six pack. Okay, the girls were looking pretty fit, but this dude straight up got a 10 pack. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why can you make yourself this big? I mean, I'm sure there's someone out there. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Kind of want to go with the default just because, I mean, the other ones uh, don't look that great to me. You can't edit your character again after the game has started. There is a re-edit feature planned for the future. All right, I think I'm happy with that character, so let's do this. Ooh, didn't realize we'd have a intro cutscene. Are these our starter Pokemon? I mean, pals? Yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna make that mistake a lot, but it looks like we're shipwrecked. And we got a tablet, really? Why is that a thing in all games now? Like Zelda did it, Legends Arceus did it. It's like a medieval survival old timey world, but then you just have this super high tech smartphone basically. So here we are in the game, the windswept hills. Okay, so I'm not sure if the world is procedurally generated like Minecraft or if it always looks the same, but I do know that it's open world. And yeah, if we press M, we can see a little bit of the map here. So this is the area where we start off. And we gotta pick up fallen branches or hit trees to get some wood, of course. This is literally Minecraft. All right, so we're basically Minecraft out here, except we have an NPC. Can we talk to them? Okay, hello. A castaway. Been a while since someone who didn't stink of pals washed up here. This island is a living hell. The people I came with aren't with us any longer. Those damn pals ate every one of them, what? Here, take some basic supplies. You need to toughen up if you want to survive out there, bro. So already we can see the darker nature of this game, which is one of the things that, ooh, level two, so our character can level up. Okay, I don't know what this statue is all about either, but uh, let me see. We can unlock fast travel. Oh my God, we Genshin. I'm kidding, every open world game basically has fast travel, but I believe I saw, yes, we got a little Wooloo over there. Okay, I don't actually have any Pal Spheres, I think, is what their version of Pokeballs is called, but maybe we can just... <laughs> oh my god, wait, it attacks back! Oh, but it, it confuses itself? Or, like, damages itself more than it hurt? Okay, I'm just gonna run away now. This is definitely Legends Arceus times 100, bro. Like, the Pokemon... I mean, in that game, they also hurt you, but you can't just walk up and punch them, you know? Which is what I was trying to say earlier, that this game, I feel like, is Pokemon, but with a darker, not even undertone. It's just straight up grittier Pokemon. Like, you can fight him, you can make him do slave labor, essentially. I don't know why I'm laughing at that. It is a serious matter. Guns, obviously, is the big thing, but I don't think we're going to unlock the guns for a while. So I'm just going to keep picking up some wood and other things around here. And now it says, open the... Workbench with B. All right, there we go. Or I guess, okay, I have to hold to build it. Nice, I love that. Look at him hammering away at nothing. <laughs> okay, workbench complete. Dude, I feel like I'm playing Dr. Stone video game right now. Like, stone pickaxe, we already have enough to make it. Nice. And I guess we have to hold F to actually craft it too. Good thing Wulu just decided to stop attacking. Uh, wait, did I do it? Oh, I have to press the, uh, nice. 
just block it with our thing. All right, now we got a pickaxe, so take that, Wulu. Yeah, bet you didn't expect the humans to fight back, did ya? <laughs> what sucks is I can't make any Pokeballs yet, though, but let me see. Open technology screen and unlock the PAL sphere. Okay, so we got technology. We also have the PAL deck. I don't know why these are already in here. I guess because we saw them in the intro of the game. We got the PAL sphere. Uh, yeah, let's unlock it. Why the heck not? We can also unlock the PAL box. And it said we need a campfire when it turns nighttime. I see a... Wait, I don't... Oh, bed. So we need level 3 to make a bed. Attack pals to weaken them and press Q to throw a sphere. Man, I don't have a... Oh my god, what the frick was that? I just did a backflip. How did I do that? I don't even know how I did that, bro. <laughs> that was crazy. But yeah, I, I don't know if maybe this can give us some of the stuff we need to build uh, the pal sphere. Oh, we got one. Nice. Okay, so now we can build a pal sphere, which is essentially a Pokeball. So let me go back to the bench and... Oh, dude, yes! Let's start production. Get to work, boy, before this uh, lamb ball comes back. I just noticed the name. It's just this lamb and ball because it turns into the ball and, and rolls into you. <laughs> How do I punch again, though? Okay, th this is more funny to me. Like, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but this is hilarious at the same time. Okay, so it's weekend. Now we can throw... Oh, what? I don't have any spheres. I didn't collect it. Okay, there we go. Now we have our first sphere and 100% catch rate. Nice. We got our first pal, let's go! And we hit level three, so now we can make a bed, but how do I actually summon my pals now? We have a lot of technology points, actually. We can, I don't know what I should buy out of this. I've been trying to avoid all spoilers for this game. Like I've seen a lot of guides on YouTube, like what are the best early game pals and tools, but I decided to avoid anything so I could give you guys my legit first experience. Uh, but I just noticed I grabbed some berries, which means we might need to eat at some point. I think I saw. A hunger bar? Yeah, in the bottom left corner there. Oh, it says E to send out our Wooloo. Okay, there you go. We got Lamb Ball. When activated, equips to the player and becomes a shield. Wait, how do we do that? Oh, F? Maybe? No? It's not working. Hello? Oh my god, yo! <laughs> it's the thing from the trailer, dude. We could just use this little dude as a bullet sponge. I don't know if I like how the hand's just going straight through it like that, but, you know, early access. I'm sure there will be more polish eventually, but F to cancel. All right, yeah, you can go be free, little friend. Well, not exactly free. You're still under my control, but I, I don't know how to build a PAL box. There we go. We got PAL box. Okay, so it's just, uh, it says, it says wherever we build it will become our base. I mean, I guess I'm okay with it just being right here. And we hold to build once again. At least this time we're building towards the, the correct direction. And eventually... Boom! We got our PAL box, which I'm guessing is like the PC. Yeah, we can store our PALs, but we can also upgrade it. Oh my god, hello! What are you doing here, Chickapea? I don't actually have another uh, PAL sphere, I don't think. So maybe I should get... Another, oh, <laughs> we can just punch the rock. Okay, that's probably not very efficient, though. Let me equip my, my pickaxe real quick, because I want to catch that chicken. Oh, no, did it disappear? No, please tell me the little chicken's still here, bro. Wait, is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, there's actually some other pals down there, too. I forgot to actually grab it. I, yeah, when you make an item, you actually have to grab it after. Actually, we might as well make some cloth, too, because I don't want to be naked the whole playthrough. Okay, the little chicken is still here. I also see something kind of crazy over there. What is that? I don't know, but this looks like it might have just palladium. Oh, nice. Let me just stock up on those then so we can make... Whoa, yo, I don't know how I keep doing that backflip. It's crazy. But now, I want to see if... Uh, okay, it shows us back bonus. So you can get back strike in this game, but only a 29% of catching. So I guess we should try to weaken it first. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Is it going to attack back? Oh, yo, it does. Okay, but I want to send in a uh, lamb ball. And, oh, nice. So is it just real-time battles? Like, you don't get to choose your attacks or anything? Oh, no! Yo, wait, we killed it! Can we still catch it even while it's dead? I don't think so. Is it... Yeah, I think it was too late to catch it. It's just dead now. Or fainted, you know? You see the little swirly eyes in Pokemon always means that it's fainted. I don't know. I feel like in Pal World, it might actually just be dead. So I'll give you a proper Viking burial. You know how they, like, put him in the boat? And toss him in the river. Yep, that's that's how the Vikings did it. 
Okay, well that was a bit of a fail, and I'm pretty sure I also wasted my pal ball. Yo, I see a chest over here. What the heck? Okay, there we go. We got a pal sphere back and a copper key, which, uh, what is this? Castaway's journal. You can check from the option screen. Oh, is that where our, like, bag is too? Yeah, we got inventory. Okay, nice. So we got some chickpea poultry. <laughs> our hunger is at half right now, so maybe we should eat this right now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat that. No food for our sheep. Maybe we'll have some better luck with, uh, Kativa over here. What kind of name is that? Like, Cat Sativa? <laughs> or probably not that, but go! Wooloo! Yo, it's running away! What the heck? Wooloo! Hold up, can we nickname our pals? Because, oh yeah, we can. Okay, you already know. We're giving you the proper name. All right, I guess we'll try to fight a Chickapee again. But Wulu doesn't want to attack for some reason. Like, what if we backstrike it? No? Do we have to initiate the fight? All right, fine, here. Boom. We fighting now, we scrapping. Oh, there we go, nice. Okay, but before you accidentally kill it, I'm throwing my pal ball. We got 99% and nice. We caught our second pal. Chicken pea is extremely weak and far too delicious. It is one of the weakest pals, no matter how they're hunted. All right, well. Oh, God, it's turning nighttime already, and I have yet to make a bet. I actually don't even know how to make fiber or acquire fiber. Maybe I should, like, check the survival guide real quick. The game doesn't even pause, though. Oh, my gosh. When night falls, surrounding becomes dark, temperature drops, and dangerous pals will appear. Build beds and sleep till morning or stay warm in the campfire. I mean, I'm kind of curious about these dangerous pals that will supposedly show up. Like, I see a big one over there. Oh, Dinosum, level 16. Okay. Uh, yeah, definitely not ready to fight that. Definitely curious about this green glowing thing over here. And it's a Lift Monk Fragment. Offer them to a statue of power to increase your ability to capture pals. Okay. I don't have any more pal spheres, or I would just throw one and see if maybe it can catch. Oh, there's something else over there. Mamora, what the frick? The thing is huge. Is that what they meant by more dangerous pals? I mean, this looks like a passive mob. Like, it's not going to attack us unless we attack him first, right? Yeah. This totally looks like you could ride it, though, which is a big thing in Ark. Like, I haven't played too much Ark, but my little cousin loves that game. And, uh, yeah, I think you can, like, ride dinosaurs and other creatures, so... Maybe Pal World's got something similar going on with the pals. Okay, hold up. Can we just fast travel back to our base? You can dismantle it apparently, but I don't think we can fast travel. So maybe I should have built my base somewhere else because now we got to go all the way back up this cliff. And that might take a minute, but hey, we got level four. Oh God. Oh yeah, it's getting cold. I should have built some clothes. Okay. All right, Wooloo, protect me, bro, <laughs> from the cold. No? Yeah, no, Wulu provides no cold protection. I feel like he should. I mean, you could probably make some clothes out of the Wulu, but we're not going to do that to our Wulu. We'll fight a different one, maybe. Oh, this rock gives a different item. Or, I noticed it was sparkly, and I'm like, it probably gives something else. And yeah, it does, so grab some more berries. And there's the dangerous ones. We got Hookrates. Uh, I think that swirl might mean that they're aggressive. Or... Maybe it means nothing. Oh my god. No, no, no. I didn't mean to do that, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, thankfully, Wulu's pretty passive. So, oh, actually, I have the other one. Ch chickpea, whatever. I don't I don't know the names, man. It's going to take a while to learn these names. But, you know what? While you're sleeping, let me just uh, get some more wool real quick. Because I'm pretty sure that's how we make clothes. I feel bad. But, like, yo, it just rolled down the hill. It didn't even drop anything. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I, I'm still dying from the cool up. Uh, we got Daydream over here. That's pretty sick, actually. It reminds me of the starter from Temtem. Don't remember the name. Okay, but seriously, before I die, let's get back to camp and at least try to build a campfire since I don't think I have the thing to build the bed yet. Oh, wait, we can build a campfire from wherever. All right, never mind. I guess I could have just done it back down there, but nice. We unlocked warmth. Let's go. Wait, Wulu built it for us. Oh, so you can assign your pals to craft so you don't have to like sit there holding the F button. Nice. I like that. Oh, there we go. We got a cloth outfit. We just need one more cloth to make it, which we can actually do. And we got a shield. We got a spear and an alarm bell. 
Okay, I'm definitely gonna do the spear. I also never crafted an ax, and apparently I don't have even wood to do that. But there's some trees right here, so I'm pretty sure we can just Minecraft this thing and punch it down for some wood. Yeah, we can actually collect some wood. Nice. Oh, there's inventory management. Wait, they drop fiber too. So we're definitely gonna need that chest because I hate inventory management. I mean, I know it's a crucial part of survival games and this is mainly a survival game. So I might not like that aspect, but usually I just throw everything in the chest except for the stuff that we like immediately need. Cause yeah, already I've got too many items on me. Please tell me we can build the chest, man. What the heck, where's the chest? Okay, there we go. We got the chest. Just plop that down right there. Wait, how do we set Wulu to do it? Yo, Wulu. Oh, there we go. This does it automatic, I guess. That's that's awesome. All right. And then I think I needed some cloth. So this is what I call multitasking right here. Actually, you know what? We could put both of our pals to work. We can make uh no, no. Okay, maybe we could only have one working at a time. Uh, there we go. So Wulu can make that cloth for us. Little does he know that was actually made from his brethren, basically. And now we can craft the cloth outfit. Nice. And we got clothes. Nice. Let's go. I don't know if I can make a bed though. Uh, let me see. Infrastructure. Oh, we need a little bit more. Just a little bit more wood. Okay, so if I just chop this tree here. Oh, there we go. Easy. Now we can make ourselves a shoddy bed uh, built indoors. Oh, here we go. Wooden structure set allows for building of wooden foundations, wall, ceilings. All right, so I guess this is like the basic building material for houses. We'll worry about that stuff later. For now, I really just want to go battle some more pals. And these daydreams are looking pretty juicy. Oh my god. I probably shouldn't say that considering I think you actually can just eat the pals. Oh no, Wulu! Bro, Wulu got freaking smacked. No, hey, get over here. I won't let you do that to my Wulu. Come here. All right. How much? Uh, are you ready to cut? 46% only? Okay, what about now? 64%. All right. I'll take those odds, bro. In the meantime, I'm going to fight this guy. Oh, did we get it? Yo, we got it. Nice. Just dodge that shadow ball. Oh, no, Wulu. Wulu's freaking dead, dude. Okay, I'll, I got you, though. I'll avenge you. Fact, I can actually send your own pal to fight against you. Get him. Shadow ball. Oh, is that going to do it? Is that going to do it? Oh, my God. <laughs> dude, that's awesome. Place them in a pal box to heal them of incapacitated stat. Okay, so I guess it's incapacitated. They're not actually dead yet. Okay, so it says we can use this thing to heal our pals. Wow, you have a cooldown or a timer. There's probably some items that also can heal their HP. Like you can maybe craft potions or something. But let's try to complete some of these other objectives. You got to catch five lamb balls and increase your player level by capturing 30 pals. Okay, that's quite a bit, which means we're going to need a 100% catch rate on these. I mean, to be honest, I don't know what the default is. 29 for the back bonus. Nah, I feel like I should just go smack him a little bit and we can definitely get that down to... Let's see, 81%. Yeah, I'll take those odds. I'm sure it could have been even better, but you know, 81%. That's probably going to catch, right? Right? Nice. Okay, we got a second lamb ball. 100% catch rate on that one. We already got level five too. Okay, this is easy peasy. I didn't realize. Oh my God, I almost killed that one. Here we go. Okay, that should be all five lamb balls that we need to at least complete that objective. My team is literally just all Wulu. Oh, you can't send more than one pal out at a time. Oh, that's kind of lame, actually. But I really want one of these cats. So come here before you get away. I'm just going to smack you down a little bit. Is Daydream going to attack too? Oh, my God. He's totally going to kill it. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's dead. <laughs> I wanted to catch it, bro. Daydream, you're too powerful for your own good. Okay, wait. Before you kill it. No. Wow. And the other cat's running away. Yo, get back here. Oh my god, you missed, bro. Are you kidding me? And my weapon's damaged? Yo, I didn't realize. Oh my... Dude, Daydream, you do too much damage, man. Calm down. Okay, this is our last chance to catch one of these guys. Just... Before Daydream shadow balls it to... Da hey, stop that. Seriously, he was about to kill another one. Oh, 88, 89, and... Nice. We got Cativa. 
And boom, we moved our base. Okay, and I guess our next objective is to get a bed because we have to upgrade our pal box, which requires us to build a shoddy bed. I mean, I could just do like a little thing right here. Oh, it builds instantly. Okay, we have enough wood. Can we build the bed? Oh wait, we can just build the bed right here. What? There we go. I don't know if that's gonna work. Like, can we just sleep without having a roof? Teamwork <laughs> makes the dream work. Oh, I placed it backwards though. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Oh, we can't use a bed without a roof. So we have a bed, we just can't use it, which I think means we can upgrade our base. Yeah, because we got the bed, so boom. Got level three out of seven. Now we gotta build more stuff. All right, this is definitely gonna be a grind. Later. So I wanted to transfer all my stuff from the other base to the new one, but I don't know if breaking this will actually give it to us. I doubt it. Uh, but I did learn that we can bake our berries. So I'm gonna do that, unless, is that gonna take a long time actually? Oh yeah, of course it is. All right, I'm just gonna fry a couple of them then. I also keep seeing that my weapons are damaged, but in the technology tree, we have a repair kit. So I think I'm gonna get one of those. Oh wait, use it on destroyed structures. Oh, this is for repairing your items. Okay, so I'm gonna need both then. Yo, they got the glider from Breath of the Wild in here? Hold up, we need to get one of those. I also crafted a torch and it's pretty cool that you don't actually have to light it. Like, as soon as you craft it, it's it's already lit. I hope with this, we don't get cold at night. We're also wearing clothes now, so yeah, I don't think we should be getting cold anymore. I also can't use my bed without a roof, so maybe we need to make some more uh, infrastructure, or was it foundation? Okay, we got walls, and then can we do like a door, maybe? Because I would love to have a door, you know? Wow, look at that, guys. We got a house. <laughs> it's literally just a bed in here, but I mean, if it works, it works, right? So let's do a roof and boom. Okay, now we should be able to sleep. Nice, okay. Look at that, you even get a little jingle. Wow, and a rooster too, amazing. Oh, uh, I, did, I didn't mean to. Yep, that's about <laughs> my first night playing Minecraft as well. Just make a wooden hut. Actually in Minecraft it was dirt, so this is Probably a step up from my first Minecraft house, at least. All right, let's see if we can catch this Hookertes. At level seven, though, this would be the toughest thing that we've battled so far. I still don't know if, like, I send my pal right into an enemy. Why don't they start battling? Like, I have to attack them first every time? Okay, fine. Punch you right in the head. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, you have Shadow Ball, too? Wait, what type is this thing anyway? Oh my gosh, there's two of them now. There's like a random wild wulu. Oh, it's it's my whole gang. They're all attacking. Oh, let's go. Wait a minute. I don't want him to die though. Oh, we killed him. Okay. That's unfortunate. At least there's still this level seven over here. Hey, yo. We're about to knock him off the cliff, guys. Calm down. Oh my God, they're all coming. <laughs> they're all attacking him. Okay. Hold up. Before any more. Oh. I just wasted one of my balls. Okay, what is our chances? 39%? No, no, no. I won't do that yet. No, oh, did you kill him? They killed him. I, sh I should have caught him when I had the chance. Oh, we hit level 6. We got some new items in here. Some that are unknown, though. Unlocked after a certain pal has been captured. We also have a statue of power. Enhance the stats of the player and their pals. Okay, that's exactly what I need. So we unlock the statue of power. And we have enough to build it. So let's do that. Right in the middle? It looks like Lucario. What? Let's let's put it right here. And we'll see in 50 seconds. Yo, that is straight up just Lucario. <laughs> with a cape coming from its head, I guess. Which is a little different. But with this, we can enhance our own stats or our pals. I definitely want to enhance... What? You can only do capture power? I wanted stamina. What does it even require? I don't know what this means. Lift monk F. Oh, that's what we found earlier. The green thing. Okay, then. Yeah, I guess I'll enhance my capture power. And then we can enhance our pals to uh, max HP, attack, defense, and work speed. Okay, that's interesting. But you need pal souls, which I don't think we've gotten any pal souls yet. I guess technically we haven't killed any pals. I, I still don't know how. Oh, we can pet our Kativa. Hello. Yeah, come here, little buddy. Let me let me give you a little pat on the head. Oh, my goodness. That's definitely not going to make me feel bad when we eventually murder them. <laughs> Lift? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Okay, I, I don't know what the point of this is, but it, it's kind of cute. Can we, like, throw him now? 
While you guys do that, I will build you a feed box, which I guess is for our pals to eat, not for us. All right, we got three beds and a feeder box, so I think we should be able to upgrade our base again. And I don't know if that means it's expanded, like the range of it. So you can see that blue line, that's how far our base goes. So like our pals can't go chop down those trees or get that rock. So maybe I should have placed this more strategically. I'm guessing that's part of like getting the most out of your pals in terms of items. Oh, hey, Wooloo's back to life, nice. So you know what? I'm going to go do some exploring and hopefully catching some more pals. There's just balls all around the field. I mean, that's kind of like Pokemon too. You're always finding all these random items littered all over the floor. Yo, what is that? Oh my gosh. Nightwing. Only level nine. I feel like we could catch that, but I don't even know if my ball will reach. Like, does it go straight? Let's find out. Nope. <laughs> Maybe if I just throw it from down here. Oh, oh, why'd you turn around, bro? 1% catch rate. Oh my god, it's offended. <laughs> yo, what is that? Oh my gosh. Wait, wasn't I building a... Oh, yo. It activated our glider. There's something else that we haven't caught over here, though. Ache third year? Maybe if we, like, sneak up? What's the catch rate? 10% with the back bonus? Let's try it. You never know, right? Uh, something is attacking me, though. So I'm gonna just... Uh, yeah, no, this is not working out. I definitely think I need the bow, which we need 15 more wood for. All right, you done making my arrows? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, get back to work. <laughs> there we go. We got our arrows, and we can also craft our old bow, which I guess I'll do myself, you know. Sheepy, I mean, you did a lot of work already. Oh, nope, someone else is still going to help me out. I also saw a spear we can make. Oh, I already have the recipe for it. Where is that, actually? Uh... Spear. Okay, there we go. All right, we got a bow and we have a spear. So I think maybe now our fight against that bird should go a little better. If it's still there, that is. It might have just flown away by now. Oh, but we got something else instead. Oh, actually, yeah, there's another bird over there and Melpaca. <gasps> what? I thought this was like some weird crab because of the legs. But I wonder, can we throw our spear? Oh, wait, I thought that was like a crouch button. We can go slower, though. So maybe if we just like sneak up and right in the, oh my God. Oh, oh okay. Uh, it didn't exactly work out, but maybe if we send Wooloo to help out, uh, we can deal with this thing. Oh my, what? yo, I think I have like 30 arrows. So if I just stay up here, it can't actually hit me. So yeah, maybe we just stay here and keep attacking. Although Wooloo's already dead. So I should send someone else. Dude, I'm going to die still. Oh my God. I should have been using my Wooloo as a shield. I forgot that was a thing. Actually, I might just try to catch this thing already because I'm getting kind of low and... Oh, I missed. Okay. Hold on. Get away. Did I just see a boss fight? I don't know, but there. 13%? That's it? Come on, man. There's no way it's that... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm freaking dead. <laughs> oh, I should have just caught the penguin. <laughs> it's even taunting me running by. All right. We get to pick where to respawn. Bro, I could respawn on the mountain if I wanted to. What? That's kind of cool though. So like if you start the game, you can just die and respawn on the complete opposite side of the world if you want. All right. I guess I'll respawn over here. Bro, <laughs> I didn't realize I'd be naked. What? They literally strip you of everything. Wow, I also don't even know where I am. I thought that was like near my base, but I guess where I died was over here. Can I set like a marker? Oh, there's a beacon actually. Is that my base? Probably. That means I gotta swim there though. Does my boy even swim? Does that cost stamina? Okay, it doesn't. So we're just gonna swim our way back, I guess. I am going to drown. This is not great. Oh, and I'm drowning. All right. If I die again, does that mean I lose all my items? Or are they still going to be on the floor? Because... <laughs> I am dead. 
Thankfully, this isn't Dark Souls, and my stuff is still there. And also, there's a Firefox. In case anyone's new around here, Ninetales is my favorite Pokemon. So you know I'm trying to catch the Ninetales of Pal World. Got 17% catch rate. Oh, and it's running away. Okay, hold up. You are not running for me, Fox Parks. Oh my god, a critical hit again. <laughs> Just keep going for headshots, and maybe we can still get a backstrike on it. Wait, what is it doing? I don't know, but... Oh! Yo, we still hit it! 64%! Let's go! A one, a two, and a three, and nice! We got Fox Parks. Let's see it. Oh my gosh. Where are you going? Why are you still running away? I mean, I did just try to murder it, so... <laughs> I probably should expect it to try to run away, but... Hold on, let me, let me just show you. I'm, I'm friendly, my friend. Come here. There we go. See, I'm, I'm, I'm a good guy sometimes. What the frick is that? Cremus? What? Is that like a Fido? Like a fairy type? Oh, it's neutral type. It kind of looks like Hisuian Zorua mixed with Eevee. You know what? I'm going to catch it. Ugh, come here. Cremus? <laughs> I'm not sure about the name, but yeah, I think that should be good enough to catch it. Uh, I'm not trying to catch that thing, though. Oh, that's why the boss battle bar popped up earlier. But yeah, this thing probably won't attack unless you attack him first. But I'm not... No, 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 no. We're not even going to try that. I mean, I kind of want to try just to see what would happen. You know, maybe like one arrow won't hurt. Oh! Yep, that definitely hurt. Uh, what is it going to do? What is it going to do? <laughs> Can we just kite it around this rock? Oh my god, okay. It can go over the rock, but it didn't hurt us. Can it even, like, what? Whoa, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that. Uh, let's just run. I did see another statue over here, too, and what is this, a uh, ball? No, oh, it's a fragment, okay, I'll pick that up. Oh my god, yo. Stop it, bro. I'm not... Dude, he's still chasing me. <laughs> How far will he go? Oh, my God. What is this? Gumos. Oh! Oh, no. This mammoth is still chasing me, bro. I'm so screwed if he catches up. Oh, my God. I'm catching this thing. Ugh. No. Yo. Leave me alone. Oh, my God. I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. <laughs> Did my ball hit the... Mammoth? I think my ball hit the mammoth. That's why we couldn't catch the little grass thing. Yeah, so day one of Pal World is going great. <laughs> Please tell me this thing forgot about me. It would suck if it still has aggro on us. It looks pissed, but I think we're okay. Yeah, okay, thank goodness. There's also a treasure chest right here. Oh, that's the wrong button. Okay, what do we got? Small Pal Soul. Oh, I saw... We can upgrade our pals with this earlier. See what the heck this thing could be. Unlock fast. Oh, it's fast travel. Of course. Does that mean we can go back? Yes. Nice. Okay. Actually, we probably could have traveled straight to our base, right? Oh, nice. Okay. I should have been unlocking these things from the start. That's so helpful. I just noticed we can only have five pals on our team. Unlike Pokemon, which is obviously six. Thing is, though, can we fast travel from our base, too? Oh, we can. We just press C. Oh, I don't know how I didn't notice that before. But, yeah, we can fast travel from our base back to the thing we just unlocked. Now, I want my rematch against Nightwing here. It's only level 10, so I feel like we can probably handle it if we just fight better. So, off you go, Arrow. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Wait, it's coming down. Oh, my God. Yo. Hold up. Let's use our new, uh, Flareon. Dodge that. Oh, we can dodge that Brave Bird. Easy peasy. Let's go. All these years of Dark Souls have prepared me for this. Except I'm not really used to playing on PC. I'm much more dexterous, I guess you could say, with a controller. Which, you can play this game with a controller, but I'm just choosing to play it on PC. Oh my god, wait. I thought it was coming, but... Whoa, did we burn it? Yo, let's go... Fox? Okay, wait. Before we accidentally kill it, let's toss our ball. We got 50-50 chance. Well, 53 technically, but I think we might be on heads. Yes! 
We got Nightwing. Ooh, Foxy almost died. Oh, there's the penguin too. Yo, this has to be an easy catch, right? Like, I don't think I even need a... Oh, only 15%? I mean, <laughs> well, in that case... Come here, boy! <laughs> I will never get tired of just the fact that you can smack him. Oh my god! Oh my... Yo, 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 hold up! He's actually kind of crazy, though. Pen gullet? All right. Calm down, sir. Just smack you a couple more times. Actually, I should send... Uh, I keep pushing... Oh! Yo, yo, yo! Calm down. Let's send out Kativa to help us fight. And maybe I should just keep using the bow and arrow. I feel like it's a lot easier to just uh, use range to kill these things. Oh, actually, it's already down pretty low. 66% chance? I'll take those odds. And bam! Well... We're still not even halfway to completing that quest though. But I still have one more pal ball. And I think I saw another one of those little grass guys over here that I also failed to catch. Or not, but there's this guy. You're a new face. Don't tell me, an outsider. Not that it matters to me. Okay, he gave me some fragments, which we can use to make more balls. And there's also this, which we can use to upgrade our own character. But <gasps> there actually is a sleeping little Gummos over here. So let's sneak up and see if we can get a bonus catch rate for it being asleep. Doesn't look like it, but if we sneak up behind it, maybe we can get a 22% chance. I mean, that's still not the greatest. I'm just gonna just, just poke you a little bit. How about that? Oh, I think we got a crit because it was sleeping. All right, there we go. 87% chance. That's pretty much guaranteed right there. And, all right, got Gamas, Rocky Egg, what? Incubate Pal Eggs with an incubator. Oh, you can, there is breeding in this game, actually. I remember from the trailer, there's like fusion too, but we don't have an incubator, so uh, we'll have to wait for that. See another one of those green statues though, so let me pick that up before we head back to camp. Can I really not sleep from like out here? Oh, I can. Yo, <laughs> we cheat in the system, let's go. We can just sleep through the window. But now to get out of the house, I feel like, can we crouch through the window? That'd be pretty sick if we can just, Oh man, come on. All right, fine. I guess I'll go out the door. You can put security settings too. What? Yeah, because this game does have multiplayer, by the way. You can play this with your friends. But our next objective is to make, uh, I believe, yeah, Pal Workbench, which uh, I don't think I've unlocked yet. So let's go here. Pal Workbench. Yep. Ooh, we got more new stuff. A bat? You can make a bat for close range combat? I mean, <laughs> sure, why not? Because we caught this pal, we now have a harness for it. Activate its partner skill to hold Fox Park and attack using flamethrower. Okay, I'll definitely get that. But we actually need more of its flame organs to make it and leather. I haven't actually checked what other partner skills they have. Egg layer may sometimes lay an egg when assigned to ranch. While in the team can help carry supplies. Oh, nice. And you have nothing for now. And Lambert uh, equips to the player and becomes a shield. Yeah, okay. Whoa, wait, what's happening? Raid? Herd of starving wild pals is invading the base? I'm I'm in my base. Where, Where's the herd, bro? Just in case, I should probably assign my like strongest pals to defend. I mean, we just caught Nightwing, so definitely going to put you to fight. And we'll do, uh, we'll do, we'll do Babby. Actually, we can do all five of them. Defend the base, my lads. Oh my gosh, here they come. Wait, what are those? Lee's Punk? Can I catch them? Oh, I don't have any spears. Yo, what the frick? Where's my, where's my spear? Get out of my base, bro. Oh my God. Nightwing is destroying them. I might actually try to catch them. Hold up. Let me let me quickly make a... <laughs> as my base is getting attacked, I'm just going to make a ball real quick. Are they all dead already? There's got to be more. Wait, is that one of them? Oh, no. He's dead. It still shows danger, but it's like all the way over there. Yo, are you stuck, my guy? <laughs> I think this guy got lost on the way to attacking my base, which means we can just... Uh... There we go. 70% and it still don't count. Are you kidding me? I only made one. Yo, catnip, stop. I don't want to kill it. I should have made more balls, man, but 70% it didn't catch? Not what I was expecting. Oh my god, I can make 21 of these. Please no one else kill the little lizard. I don't know where it went, but I hope no one kills it. Oh, what? The enemy's been defeated? There was still one more lizard, though. 
don't tell me it disappeared, bro. I was I was ready to go catch it. Oh man. Oh nice. He's watering the plants. Wait, does that mean you have the planting power? I don't know, but I think our berry farm is working. So our next objective, I guess, is to keep leveling up our base, which means we need that pal workbench that I keep forgetting to make. I just remembered that we should catch some more of these foxies because uh, we need their organs, apparently, to make that saddle. So we'll just uh, keep doing this for a little bit and hopefully it stays in there. I wonder, do we get more organs for killing them or catching them? Let's find out, because there's one more over here. And we have, oh my gosh, calm down. Actually, there's two more. We got two organs for that. And there is one more fox park right here. Oh my god, yo, this one's kind of feisty though. <laughs> Just saw its brother get killed in front of its eyes. I mean, I don't blame it, but still, you have been incapacitated as well, buddy. And now back at the base, we can craft the PAL workbench. Thing, which I guess is different from the other workbench because this one specifically for making PAL tools. Oh, thank you for helping me out. No way, I thought Nightwing was about to step in with the hammer and help us out here, but no, it's just me and Pingu chilling out. We got, uh, oh, we can build this actually. Let's go. Only Gumos would help, but I don't think his little hands can do much. <laughs> what is that face, man? It's literally Ditto, I just realized. Ditto with a grass hat. Which I guess makes it grass type. Come on, Nightwing. Grab a hammer, bro. Help me out here. Do you see how long this is going to take me? Oh my gosh. Now we can upgrade to level 6. Which means we just got one more for that quest. Build a crusher, a stone pit, and a lot. Oh my god, we can build so much. Are you kidding me? We did just hit level 8 too, though. Which is how you unlock the crusher. And this. If Daydream's in your team, it will stay by your side and attack enemies in tandem. Ooh. Man, there's got to be some pals that just help us get wood. Like... Wait, is that wood that you're carrying or what is that, bro? I can't tell what he's harvesting. I'm pretty sure it's not wood though. It's gotta be like berries or something. I'm just gonna try to grind out some of these pals because apparently we get a bonus for catching 10 of the same type. We're almost there with the sheep. We're almost there with the chicken too. Okay, we got nine and right here is number 10, a level one lamb ball. Yet that's still not a 100% catch rate. Like how, bro? Whatever, there you go. That's 100%. And what happens? Oh, we get an XP bonus. That's it. Now it's time to try out Vulpix's ability. It says Command Pal. I don't think that's it though. Oh yeah, wait, it's F actually. Come here. Huggy Fire. <laughs> okay, so we're holding it. This probably won't hurt. I mean, you're also a fire type. If you just stop running away from me, please. This probably won't. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, that actually hurts a lot more than I expected. Uh, well, thank you for the help, Vulpix. That was great. <laughs> you just, you helped us catch another buddy for you. And we level up too. Oh, it has a cooldown though. So now we can't use it again for a while. Wow, that's actually a very long cooldown. I still wish we could just throw our pal to attack. Oh wait, that, that worked this time. Okay, let's go, Wulu. We just hit you one more time, and... Oh, there we go. 44%. I guess I'll take those odds. It's not the best, but... What did we need five leather for, anyway? These are the three things we have to build. Oh, it was for the uh, Daydream collar. Jiro's always helping out. Like, why doesn't any of the other sheep... Look! The other sheep's just chill... Yo, okay, I'm over it, man. You, you are fired, Bell. Where are you? I'm putting Lambert back in. Where's he at? Watch, I bet instantly Lambert's gonna come help out. Oh my god, Lambert. Whatever, man. It sounds to me like this is a passive ability. While in team appears near the player and follows up with magic bullets. So I guess we just gotta go get in some fights to test out how that works. Okay, so are you gonna help me out with fighting this cat or what? No? Attack aggressively, bro. Come on. Oh. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> okay! I mean, I thought you were doing that earlier, but... Sure! What is this chillet? It shows it, like, on top of the cliff over here, which seems kind of far. Ooh, that's something new! We got Leaf Monk and a ball to catch it with right here, actually. Alright, help me out, bro. We got this. Wait, did it already throw the shot? Oh my... Yeah, it definitely threw the shadow ball. 
Come here, little leaf. Stop running. Oh my gosh. Ugh, fine, I'll just throw the ball then. It's only a 40% chance. Oh yeah, no, that didn't work. Oh, hey! Come back here, man. I feel like I'm missing something. Like, there's gotta be some easier way to get your pals to attack the wild ones. Cause like... I don't know, half the time they just chase them around, but don't actually attack, which I don't get. But, hey, it worked out. We caught Leaf Monk, and we only need three more now. I feel like that should be a pretty good reward, because it took so long. But wait, what is that? T-Fant? Still 28%? I mean... Oh my god, it's so cute! No, don't run away, buddy! <laughs> oh my god, Daydream's gonna kill it. I can feel it. Yeah, no, I'm not letting you do that, bro. Let's just uh, throw the ball, and of course... Hold up. I know, you're trying to kill him. I know, bro. But I'm not going to give you the chance. Got another water type. But what is up with this chillet thing? That's what I'm really curious about. Maybe that can be our 30th pal, which means we still got to catch one more. And here's another egg? I don't know if that's actually a, a pal egg or just... Whoa, yo. <laughs> what is this? Is there something stuck in the wall here? Like, I can't attack it, though. So I, I guess we'll just ignore it. Uh, but there are those deer that I haven't caught yet. <gasps> it's the monkey from the trailer with the gun. <laughs> Dude, these things are hilarious. All right. I definitely want to catch me one of these. As long as Daydream doesn't kill him. Oh, maybe. Okay, hold up. You're not killing this one, bro. You may have knocked that other one out, but... Oh, this one's mine. Come here. Yo, stop it. This is definitely not going to catch still. Oh, my gosh. I don't want Daydream to kill you on accident. Oh, the attack was literally coming. Please tell me this catch is. Please. And nice. All right, we got Grookey. Now, the final Pokemon we're going to attempt to catch today is Chillit. So, I guess it's sort of a bit of a boss. Is that Ice and Poison type? Or Ice and Dragon, actually. I don't think there's Poison type in this game. But there are types, by the way, in case you didn't notice before. But wait, that means that... Uh, <laughs> I know exactly... What I'm going to use against this little buddy. First, I'm going to pick this up, though. And we got... Come here, Vulpix. Before you die, I need to... Hey! Vulpix, please! Stop attacking! What are you doing? No! Okay, hold on. Uh, oh, my God. Why isn't this working? Vulpix, please, I need you to come over here. I, I want to use you as a flamethrower, bro. Please! Vulpix! Can you stop attacking? Oh, my God. You're going to die. And Vulpix is dead. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Okay, can I use you as a flamethrower, please? <gasps> there we go. Okay. Come here. Chill it. Meet Vulpix. Oh my gosh, this is sick, dude. Oh, I am. I was about to say I'm dead, but that, that was even more than dead. What was that? <laughs> what was that? What just happened to us? <laughs> Oh my god, I mean, <laughs> I, I feel like that's a pretty good spot to end this video. So, if you guys want to see me rematch Chill It, hit that like button down below. If we can get 3,000 likes on this first episode, I'll definitely play some more Pal World. I mean, I definitely want to play more of this, but maybe like I'll stream it over on Twitch because I do want to bring back the streams as well. But if you guys like it enough here on the main channel, then I'll do another video. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.